Uh, so let's assume we want to send a file from our Windows uh, machine. So this is this file, tutorial data. So this is a zip file, as you can see. Let's click on, let's right click on it and see the properties. So this is a zip file.zip. So I need to send this file. I downloaded it here, but somehow I want to work on it on my Kali. So how do you send it? So normally people have that challenge sending files from Kali uh, to their Windows VM. And because there are different operating systems, you can't just say, okay, you want to copy and then go and paste it won't work. So this is what we need to do. So there are several steps we need to take. Uh, the first one is to make sure we have what we call SSH installed. So we are going to run the, but before that, let's first check our IP. So we just do IP config. Let's check our IP. Sorry, if config, we check our IP or you can use IP -A -A -D -D -R, anyone. So uh, let me just use it. Let me use IP ADDR. I think that will be clearer. Yeah, so this is our IP here. So let me just open a, a new tab so that we'll have two tabs are working with. Let me increase the zoom of this. So we have two tabs now. One is where we have our IP, which is this, and then we can now work here. So um, the next thing we need to do is to start our SSH service secure shell. So if you don't have SSH, um, installed, you need to install your SSH. So to do that, you just do sudo, then apt install, then you do SSH. So that's SSH stands for secure shell. So you put in the password of your Kali. So this is the password of my Kali. So you see SSH is already in the newest version. So it's updated. So there's, I don't need to do anything. So I can just clear this. And I just want to clear this so that I'll have space. So now I've cleared it now. So after clearing it, um, I want to check the status of my SSH because your SSH um, could be disabled by default or it could be enabled. So you need to check the status. So to check the status, you can just do um, sudo uh, system, system, ctl, status, then SSH service. That's what you want to do. So, we just do this so you can see it's actually active and running it's enabled this is it here you can see if it's disabled uh you would see it here disabled so normally to enable it you can also just do um to enable it you can just do uh sudo can do sudo uh enable and ssh this is how to enable it. In case you check it and it's disabled, you just write to do this, then you enable it. Or to disable, you do the same thing, right? Disable, then SSH. So it's fine. Since it's running, uh, we don't need to do anything again. So we can now go ahead to um, start our transfer. So we go to our Windows where we want to transfer. And this is the file we want to transfer. So since we are in the file we want to transfer. Let's go to command prompt. So you can either type here command prompt. All right. So um, make sure, but in your own case, if you're if you're not using admin, so this Windows client, this user is an admin. So if you're not admin, just when you type CMD, you right click and select run as administrator. But by default, I'm already this person is already admin. So there's no need to do that. So um the next thing is cd let's navigate to the desktop directory where we have that file so we are doing change directory to desktop hit enter so you can see now we are now in the desktop path so since we are in desktop path let's do dir to see what's inside there so dir so you can see all the files there so we have that tutorial data.zip that zip file so you can see it here uh you can share with detail about it so that's fine we've confirmed that we still have our file and we're in that directory. So you must be in that directory where the file is before you run that command. If you're not in the file, if you are not in that directory and you run the command, it's it's it won't be able to see the file. So you must be there before running the SCP command. So you do SCP, which is secure copy. Then the name of the file is tutorial. Tutorial. You can just copy and paste, but let me just. Stereo data.zip. That's the name of the file. 
then what is the name of the user so i'm going to put in the the command up here so that you see the command you are using so you are going to state the name of the user the name of our user is kali so that's this kali this this whatever you see here is the name of your user so the user name is kali so kali and then the ip was our at our kali ip so uh we already know that our ip is we checked it before and our IP is this. So before you we even do this, you have to make sure that these guys are on the same subnet. By subnet, I mean you have to make sure that you can easily ping this guy and then you'll be able to see your Windows 10 client. So for example, now let me show you. You have to make sure that these two, um, I right-clicked on this Kali and on checking the settings, you would see here that network adapter is on NAT. So this Windows also, this Windows 10 also has to be NAT for this to work. If this is not on NAT, if this is on a different thing settings, if this is on a different things, um, thing, sorry, uh, or if it's on bridge or something else, it, it might have issues. So make sure it's on the same um, stuff, NAT. So by default, it will be on the same subnet. All right. So, um, so I think, so now at this point, we can now put in our IP for our Kali, since you know it is 192.168.204.133. So this is our um IP. So you put colon, and then now we are going to specify where, which part in our, where do you want us to transfer this file to this tutorial data? Where do you want us to move it to in our Kali? So we have to specify it now. So we we for, let, let's say we want to put it in. Let's say we want to put it in desktop. We just want to put it here anywhere in desktop. So it's fine. We just need to specify the pathway. So we'll do slash home slash Kali slash um then your directory or is desktop in this case so let's leave it at desktop so this is where we want this tutorial data file to go to so i'm using slash home slash kali slash desktop so this kali is your username again okay that's why it's here if your own username is something different your username is this when you check this this stuff here if your own is different this is your username so just be um be watchful of what this is so this is where we want this is the username so go back so once you are sure that everything is set properly you can now hit enter so it will now tell you are you sure you want to connect so you can type yes no of so just type yes and hit enter then it's a request for your Kali password. So you need to impute the password for your Kali. So once you put it, you can see it will send the file. So by uh, once it sends the file, it will exit it. So now let's go check our Kali for the file. So it's supposed to be in our desktop to clear our data. So yeah, this is it. So we have that file here. So it's quite straightforward to do. So if we don't want to um, see, this is the way I found out my directory. So you can even come here if you don't know the directory. So we wanted to move it to desktop so you can click open folder. So once you double click here, you can see home Kali desktop. That's how I knew this, this, um, this home Kali desktop, the exact way it is. So that's how you can check. So let's say you want to put it in downloads. Let me close it. Let me say you want to put it in downloads folder you want this tutorial data to go to downloads instead of that desktop you can just again you you should know that it's slash home slash kali slash um downloads but if you don't know it you can just come to okay downloads folder is where you want it to be then you can if you double click here you see this is a file part so it's just downloads that you're placing it yeah so typically that's how to transfer file from your windows um, client or any Windows OS, Windows Server, Windows 11, VM to your Kali. So you can successfully transfer files that way.
So before we look at the next one of how to transfer from your Kali to your Windows, please, um, if you found this useful, please like, click on the like button and also subscribe as we talk on, we teach cybersecurity related stuff, um, career paths, and I just share any tutorials I, I think would be helpful to anyone. So if you found this useful, please subscribe now and don't forget to click on that bell button, then a like will also be um, um, appreciated. All right, so let's see the next one. 